Hello lovely students of grade 8. You are welcome to this new lesson of unit 11. Khaftar National Park. Okay, now matching. Match the words in column A with their meanings in column B. Pastures. Pastures means land covered with grass. So pastures means land covered with grass. So you can say it's called pastures. Okay. Okay, next one. So next one biodiversity biodiversity means this is the existence of varieties of animals and plants now aquatic aquatic means this is uh, you know related to uh, growing or living in or near water it's called aquatic okay growing or living in or on or near water and confluence confluence means the place where the river rivers and meet and become one this is called confluence confluence means the place where rivers meet and become one now tranquility tranquility means this is it is the, the meaning of tranquility is okay, this is the first one the state of being quiet and peaceful and documentary okay documentary means you, think, you know this is the a film or program giving facts about something and last one, hover. Hover means to contain something and allow it to develop. Now, uh, exercise B, fill in the gaps with correct information from the text. Khaftar National Park comprises 22 patches of grassland. You can find this in the text above. Now, B, the religious sites in the National Park are visited by thousands of pilgrims every year. And C. A tourist from Pakistan should have to pay 500 NRS, 500 Nepali rupees, as entry fee. And D, the highest point of the national park is Sasralinga, situated at the height of 3,276 meters. And E, many programs make a holy visit to Trivani on Jane Purnima. Okay, next one. Answer these questions. What type of forest can be found in Kaupta National Park? So you can say uh, coniferous forest, you know, coniferous forest. Yes, it's like the forest with uh, pine for such trees are found there. Coniferous forest can be found in Kaupta National Park. B. How have the patterns supported local people around the National Park? Pattern is here, pastures, you know, grassland. The patterns have supported local people by offering ample grazing ground for their cattle. Patterns have supported local people by offering, by providing ample enough grazing ground for their cattle. Now see, where is the Shiva temple? The Shiva temple is located at the confluence of three rivers known as Triveni. Now D. After which name is the national park name is Khaftar National Park? The national park is named as Khafta National Park after the late Khafta Swami Baba. After the late Khafta Swami. Now, if anyone is interested in shooting a film in the national park, how much money he or she has to pay? The person interested in shooting a film has to pay. Okay, the person, anyone who is interested in shooting a film in the national park should pay or has to pay fifteen hundred dollar. American dollar if uh, the person is a foreigner uh, in the same way if a person is a Sakh national if a person is from Sakh he or she should be as 50,000 rupees and if uh, a person is from Nepal or if he is a Nepalese he should be only or as 15,000 rupees only 15,000 rupees now make a list of the flora and fauna you know flora and fauna plants and animals plants and animals found in the national park the flora and fauna found okay uh, found you can write here the okay uh, found here you can write it. the flora and fauna flora and fauna they are living things you know here it's here uh, found in uh, only one found okay, uh, only one found is so here are uh, uh, there's flora and fauna Okay, found in the park are shall find for oak birds, red buttercups, wild berries, dappy, bulbul, eagle, flycatcher, 
wide, wide variety of uh, butterflies, 23 different species of mammals like deer, monkey, coral, uh, leopard, etc. Now, our next question. If you visited a Kapta National Park, which is thing would you enjoy the most? So, if I visited Kapta National Park, I would enjoy looking at Daffy. I would enjoy uh, looking at Daffy, Rhododendron, and Deer the most because I haven't seen them in reality. So, you can write your own answer. Now, you might have a religious or historical natural place in your district or locality. Make an attractive leaflet about the place based on the guidelines even below. Introduction and location of the place. We, you can design a leaflet just uh, you have read uh, above. This is uh, just you have read about Captain National Park. Uh, this is called a leaflet. Okay, dear students, this is uh, a model one. This is a sample for you. I'll look at it. Uh, leaflet about Feva Lake. Introduction and location of the place. Feva Lake is one of the most beautiful lakes in the world. It is located in Pokhara at an altitude of 742 meters to 2434 feet and covers an area of about 4.43 km square. It has an average depth of about 8.6 meters and a maximum depth of 24 meters. Maximum water capacity of the lake is approximately 43,000. 43 okay uh, lakh i'm sorry 44 crore okay, cubic meters uh, the Annapurna range on the north is only about 28 km away from the lake and the major attraction the lake is also famous for the reflection of mount Masporsi and other mountain peaks of the Annapurna and the Olagiri ranges on its surface the Talvarai temple is situated on an island in the lake is located 4 km from the city center Sipladhunga. Hewatal is the traveler's focal point in Pokhara and is the second largest lake in Nepal. In contrast to the gory of tourist development of lakeside, the steep southern western southwestern shore is dense, deep of forested and alive with butterfly. The Los Ranibon, a quench forest, bestows an emerald deep hue to the lake. You can take to the lake in one of the fiery painted. Uh, Dungas is for Dunga, ports available for rent at Lakeside. Many people walk or cycle around the lake shore. The trek up to the wall, Peace Pagoda, offers breathtaking views over the tall to the mountains uh, view end. How to get to Feva Lake? Well, first, you need to reach Pokhara, which is easily accessible from anywhere by plane or by bus. When you reach Pokhara or Port or Pokhara Bus Park, you can get a taxi and a bus or a bus to arrive at Fiwa Lake, which is about 6 or 7 km away from there. Now, uh, so, so requirements and provisions. Entry fee is not required to observe the scenery of Fiwa Lake, but if you go for boating, you have to pay on an hourly basis. Rates of boating start at RS500 per hour with the boatman or RS450 per hour if you paddle yourself. And you should rent life jackets at RS10. You can also take a boat to Talmar right in the center of the temple, which costs RS 100 per person. And suitable time to visit. Uh, you can visit uh, Fewa Lake at any time, but uh, tourists visit Fewa Lake throughout the year. However, the best uh, time is autumn and spring season because the weather is very good, moderate in Nepal, and you can enjoy boating, sightseeing, and paragliding over the lake uh, during that during these seasons. Okay, uh, dear students, now write a set of rules to be followed in the place you have selected in exercise A above using the following clues. So we can, uh, we can write, you can write uh, a set of rules and regulation. I will show you the model one. Okay, you can see rules and regulation for the visitors of Fewa Lake. The visitors are strictly prohibited to throw rubbish near the lake. Near the lake. Next, next rule is the visitors are allowed to swim in the lake wearing life jackets. Third, the visitors can take photos and videos of the lake, but they don't have to take the view photos and videos of the temple. Feeding the fee is not in the lake is not entertained, so you cannot feed, you cannot give anything to the fish there. The visitors can hire a boat and enjoy boating as long as they like. So visitors can hire a boat. These are the rules and regulations visitors should follow uh, at Fiala Lake. 
Okay, now grammar. Look at the grammar. Uh, this is about the use of a and or the. This is about article. So first one, I would like to ask you a question now. So here you have to use question or. Second, it's a nice day today, isn't it? Or first, second one. Where is the tallest statue of Lord Shiva located? So tallest. This is superlative degree of superlative form of adjective. So you should write the here. D. The boys are playing. Uh, don't write anything here. Football. We, we do not uh, normally use any article before football. So the boys are playing football in the back one. Zero ad article here. And uh, he sees an intelligent girl. So intelligent. Here. And uh, you know, starting with vowel sound here. Intelligent. Yeah. Do you want to go to the restaurant where the we first met? So it's about uh, a specific restaurant. Here the person is talking about a specific uh, restaurant which is known. Now G. My father bought a TV, new TV set yesterday or new set here. TV set or new TV. We have to use on here. Yes. I live in an old house. The house needs to be repaired. So here in an old house. The house needs to be repaired. The same house is repeated here. So we should use the. Now would you like to have a piece of cake? A so piece of cake. Piece of cake. Now G. So Imla can play the guitar well. So before the musical instruments we use. Article though. Now, okay, we usually have, so we normally avoid the use of articles before common launch. So don't write anything here, zero article. Now, food or and or the to complete the paragraphs. We have probably learned the rule that n comes before a vowel. So here we have to write you know, here n because it's about uh, condition here, rule here. So you have probably learned the rule that n comes before a vowel, and uh, that a comes before a consonant. Well, this is generally true. It's more accurate to say that n comes before a vowel sound. Sure, you know, n comes before vowel, not vowel only. Vowel sound. N comes before a vowel sound, and a comes before a consonant sound. That can be used with both singular and plural nouns, with nouns of any gender and with nouns that start with any letter. This is the most commonly used word in the English language. So it's right there here and there here. Now B. Once upon a time, once upon a time, there was an old farmer. You know, upon a time, an old farmer. He was honest and helpful. Once the whole village was affected by famine. People remember the old farmer, the same person, the uh, old farmer repeated. So the old farmer, he left the villagers by providing food and shelter. This news reached the king. He invited the old farmer and gave him a golden stick as a gift for his honesty and help to the villagers during his hard times. Now, dear students, this listening. First, uh, you have to just listen to this audio and try to guess the answer. And I will also. And then finally, I will give you, I will help you, and I will give you the correct answer. So let me, I will play it. Listen to the audio very carefully. Sirubari village is located in Senja district, which lies in the southwest of Pokhara. It is situated at a height of 1,700 meters from sea level. Sirabari is one of the pioneers to introduce the concept of community-based homestays for the sustainable tourism development in Nepal. Sirabari began community-based tourism in 1997. The visitors can reach the village either by using public buses or private vehicles. The driving distance from Pokhara to Sirabari is about 45 kilometers and takes about two hours to reach the village. Trekking lovers can have a half day walk from Negdada, a place along Siddhartha Highway to reach the village. Sirabari offers unspoiled Gorang culture and heritage to the visitors. A tourism management committee has been formed which is responsible for welcoming the tourists and managing accommodation, sightseeing, and guiding. The village consists of 60 households. The local people themselves provide food and lodging facilities to the tourists at their homes.
Sirabari Village Tourism was awarded the PATA Gold Award 2001 in recognition of its efforts to preserve the local culture and heritage. Sinaro. Now look at the picture and answer the question. What do you see in the picture? We can see a beautiful landscape, beautiful scene of Sirubari and the landscape of Himalayas. Now B, what do you think the name of the place is? The name of the place is Sirubari, I think. So listen to the audio. So you do your student, dear students, you have already listened to the audio. Now you can find the correct answer. Sirubari village lies in the southwest of Pohara. You, you, you could see. I hope you, you, you I hope you what uh, just heard it. You will listen to this word. And next, B. Sirubari introduced the concept of community based homestay in Nepal. Homestay. Now, okay, C. It takes about two hours uh, by bus to reach Sirubari from Pohara. It is very easy to, uh, it is very clear. The word is very, very clear. The tourism and animal community welcomes tourists and manages sightseeing and guiding for them. And the tourists are provided with food, lodging, has really there the village own villages own homes. Now listen to the audio again. So you have listened to the audio. So when did Shrivari begin beginning community based tourism? In nineteen ninety seven. Next, how long does it take for the tourists to reach Shrivari from Nagarana? A half day. Okay. If they want to if they went on walk, it takes a half day. Why do you think it is visit Surubari Village Omisti? Uh, they visit Surubari Village Omisti to enjoy unspoiled Guru culture and heritage. And the, why was Surubari Village Tourism honored with the PTA Gold Award? Preserving local culture and heritage. Okay. So now next one, project work. So the famous place of your province, collect information about the place, then write a short description of it. Use pictures, photos to make your description interesting and attractive. So look at it. This is the picture of Pohara Valley. So here I have described it. Pohara is a picturesque city, very uh, beautiful city, located in the western part of Nepal, nestled in the lap of majest majestic Annapurna mountain range. It's often regarded as one of the most enchanting and serene places in the country, attracting thousands of visitors each year. Pokhara is renowned for its breathtaking natural beauty, which, with its crystal clear lakes, loose and lush green hills, and snow-capped peaks forming a surreal backdrop. Few places in the world can rival the charm and tranquility that this city exudes. Okay, next one. The stunning Fewa Lake is the in uh, centerpiece of Pokhara. It's the main attraction of Pokhara. Offering a tranquil setting, very peaceful setting of uh, boating and relaxation, a reflection of the Annapurna and Masipusri still mountains on the water surface creates a surreal at atmosphere during the sunrise and sunset. Living visitors always struck. Another highlight of Pohara is Sarangkot, a field top vantage point that offers panoramic views of the Annapurna range and the entire Pohara Valley. Adventure seekers flock to this, you know, the Go to this place for paragliding. The thermals are ideal for soaring through the skies and enjoying a bird's eye view of the city. And next one, beyond its natural splendor, Pokhara is a hub for trekkers and hikers, serving as a gateway to some of Nepal's most popular trekking routes, such as the Annapurna Shortcut and the Gore Pani Punan Hill Trek. The city itself has a laid back and friendly atmosphere with numerous restaurants, cafes, and shops. Leaning the left side where travelers can unwind and share the stories of their adventures, whether on six adventure, tranquility, or vita foot. Pokhara is something to offer everyone, making it, making it an unforgettable destination that leaves a lasting impression on all who visit.